everyone. Paul from High Tech Legion. The hardest thing to do when you're looking at performance, A, is to keep down price, and B, is to minimize power consumption. Manufacturers of both CPUs and GPUs have been having a problem with this for quite a while. The algorithm is just not there. Sometimes you have to sacrifice one to get the other, and vice versa. So, what can be done about it? Fortunately, we have something new out, and it might be one of the first to actually tackle that challenge. We'll be looking at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. Before we go ahead and unbox this, let's take a look at the specifications real quick. The NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980, of course shipped from the manufacturer, comes in a black box with a little green on the bottom here, as you can see. And when we lift the top, it's nicely secured in some nice, nice thick styrofoam here, or foam. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and let you take a look at the actual shroud that covers the heatsink. As you can see, we have a fan, rear exhausting fan, or a rear pulling fan which exhausts through the front. I'm not going to get into the fan design. I've done that multiple times. Hopefully everyone knows about it by now. Up on the top of the card, of course, we have the GeForce LED. And for this series, they've also put a nice hard back plate on here. Up on the top, of course, it is SLI capable and PCIe 3.0. Of course, it is reverse compatible if you do not have a PCIe 3.0 motherboard. As you can see, this is where we're pulling in from in the back, exhausting through the vapor chamber and the heat sink up front, out through the front here. There is quite a lot of air that can be exhausted through the, uh, the vent holes here. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the I.O. We have a DVI. I'm going to go ahead and look because I didn't remember <laughs> memorize this. This is your display port, HDMI, and then another display port. It might not look all eye appealing at times. Of course, it's got a nice anodized aluminum uh, covering. And the best thing about this, it only requires two six pin power connectors. But I'm sure most of you are more worried about how it benchmarks and what its power consumption is going to be. So let's take a look.
Pretty impressive, huh? At least I thought so for, for now. And probably for a little while, believe it or not. With the GeForce GTX 980 series, of course, there is the 970 also. We'll be taking a look at that in our next video. You're going to get maximum performance at a minimal power consumption. The new Maxwell chip has a lot of brand new technologies, um, VXGI, MFAA, and of course you have GameWorks, which NVIDIA sends people out to assist uh, the developers in putting in all these technologies into their games so this card can take advantage of them. But other than that, I'm not going to bore you with any banter or anything. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Visit us on Facebook, www.facebook.com, front slash HTL reviews. For the full review and to learn about all the technologies that this card has to offer, please read the written review at hightechlegion.com. That's www high tech h i t e c h l e g i o n dot com you might want to follow us on twitter twitter dot com front slash high tech legion we're going to go ahead and give this an editor's choice award if you have any questions feel free to ask we try to answer as many as possible i'll see you the next time everyone stay thirsty my friends